Hi, this is Jay Fleming. I'm the senior developer with Lulea Media, and this is the Child Theme Configurator quick start video. So one of the things you can do with the Child Theme Configurator is add your own custom fonts to your child theme. And to do that, you use the Web Fonts tab. Web Fonts tab is a way for you to link external style sheets to your child theme. If you want to grab a font, go over to Google Fonts. And we're going to actually add two typefaces here. Let's add this uh, Roboto slab and let's add railway. And we're going to click the use. And let's use the light too. And so we've selected Roboto slab and railway. Let's go down here and grab this at import rule. Now we're using the at import rule for a specific reason, and I'll explain that in a second. Over to the Web Fonts box here, the Web Fonts tab, just paste that whole at import rule in here and save it. Okay, for the values, we're going to copy these values over to a text document. So I'm going to open a new text document here and paste it. So we've got there, the butter slab, we're going to copy railway. And I'm just using this sort of as a scratch pad. So now let's go to the Query Selector tab. We're going to actually use railway for the headline style so let's type h1 here and then you'll see that there's actually an entry that covers all the headline styles um, grab that to h1 through h6 and we're going to actually add the font family rule and then in our little text document grab that railway so let's grab the whole thing the fallback and add that. Okay. And you want to make sure you don't get that semicolon because that'll screw things up. Delete that and then hit save. And you'll notice that it actually adds the, it actually displays the typeface now in your preview. And we're going to say font weight, weight 300. And for the body font, we're going to use that Roboto slab. So let's do this and grab Roboto slab. Change that, and remember, delete that semicolon. Save, and let's see that other body. I think this, yeah, see, okay, so the first one was sort of a fallback for the entire theme. It used Helvetica as the default font, and then we have this custom font enabled um, style. I guess this is just to, it's used by the theme to flag that you're using a custom font. I'm not sure. But we're going to just paste it in here anyway. Delete the semicolon, save. And so now, if we go back to preview, you'll notice now it's using Roboto Slab for the all the content, the body content. But it's using Railway for the the headline style. Now, one thing you see here is that if you inspect it it looks like it's not using the light version, the 300 weight. And I think that's because there is this um, specific style just for the title. So we're going to need to modify um, entry head or entry title. Yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, see how it's right here, it's setting font weight to normal. So we're going to need to adjust that too. So we're going to go back again to child themes and now we need to add that entry title where it's got this font weight normal showing up we need to change that to 300 and let's actually make the typeface a little bigger so I'm going to say 2.2 rem uh, now let's preview one more time. This is just a shortcut. So what we've done is we've used the railway typeface for the article head headline here. And if you inspect it, you'll notice that we've also changed the weight to use 300 here, entry header, entry title 300. 
So it's using the light version of Railway. And then for all the other type, it's using this Roboto slab that we changed. Um, one other thing I want to point out is that in previous versions of Child Theme Configurator, the Web Fonts tab actually put an at import rule into the child style sheet. We're no longer doing that here. If you look at the child CSS preview, we're not actually importing. We're what we're doing is uh, configurator is reading this import statement and converting it into an external style sheet link for a number of reasons. But the reason why we continue to use the add import as the way to imp input it is mainly just for simplicity. So you can continue to use the same syntax that you've used before. The only difference is that behind the scenes it's automatically converting that to a link. And to confirm that, we can actually look at the source code. Go to this frame, view frame source, and scroll down. What you're going to see is that now we have your um, a new link that says child theme config external one CSS. So for every add import rule that you put in the web fonts box, input box, it's going to add an external link here. And it's just converting that um, into the href value of that external link. So we're no longer using add import. We're actually converting everything to external uh, external link tags. So that's how you add web fonts to your theme using child theme configurator. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please drop us a line on our website. Uh, you can fill out the contact form or you can send us an email to solutions at and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.